Hi, we're going to talk about thalassemia major. Thalassemia major is a genetic disease, you know, it's transmitted from parents to children and usually the parents are thalassemia carriers. That means they carry a defective gene, but they are not themselves affected by this problem. And when the two defective genes come together in the child, they can give rise to what's called a thalassemia major. So the risk of transmitting this, this defective gene and the risk of these, both these genes having to simultaneously in a, in a child is about 25%. So there's 25% risk these parents can transmit their, this gene to the child and they, the child can have thalassemia major. Now this carrier state in India is quite high and in, in, in areas it's about 15, some areas 15 to 20% and uh, there's a significant risk that two of these carriers can marry and can have a child with thalassemia major. And they, we can simply prevent this and the preventive strategies are twofold. Uh, one is that we can do what's called as pre-marriage counseling. So before a couple uh, uh, you know, enters into wedlock, they can do this HPLC, which is a simple test to detect their carrier state. And if they are carriers, there's an option of if it's arranged marriage, of not marrying. But even if they marry and plan children, we can sim still prevent thalassemia major by a, si by a uh, simple test uh, when the mother is about 10 to 12 weeks pregnant and that's called as chorionic villus sampling and with that test we can see whether the new child is having thalassemia major or not. And same thing can be applied in those couples who have already married and they do not know their thalassemia carrier state. They can do a thalassemia carrier state testing with HPLC before they plan any children and uh, again if they are carriers we can prevent it by doing the simple test. And very important message I want to convey, you know, there are a lot of families who already have one thalassemia major born to their family. It's very important that they should go for antenatal testing for the next child so that another child is not born with the same disease. Thank you very much.